the Nail Pros for our March issue. This month was our color story issue where we featured the spring polish collections from all the different manufacturers. So in addition to the cover, we also did our editorial spread on the inside with the theme of Alice in Wonderland. And in order to get the nails done for all these shots, we brought in Melissa Bozant to do the nails. Welcome. Hi. There was a lot going on in these shoots, a lot of props, a lot of costumes, so we really wanted the nails to stand out. So we began by lengthening the nails. How did you do that? We started with um, natural tips with an overlay, acrylic overlay, which allowed us to have an even, long, sculptured nail. Let's begin with Alice's nails. You applied the tips and you cut them down and filed them. More so with the, with the oval shape. The oval shapes are, they're, they're popular right now. So we did like a two inch length on her with um, the tips, the overlay. Then we changed up the colors. When you're creating oval nails, there's a lot of filing going on. How do you figure out the length that you want to clip the tips to to get the right shape? I usually leave them a lot longer, so that way, depending on the shape of the nails, I'll still have more length. It's easier to you know, keep them longer, shape them down, versus making them shorter, then you have to start all over again. So it's, it's minimal filing, just depending on how pointed or how round you know, we wanted this particular shoot. Since it was more of a soft round and it complemented the model's nails, it was very minimal filing. Buffing also will bring down the, the length of the nail as well. Plus, the other model, her nails were much longer. So since her nails were much longer, I left the tips considerably longer so that I'd have more room to work with. You also want a really smooth surface so the polish lies smoothly. You buff the nails beforehand. Um, do you apply a um, base coat as well? Not on acrylics. Acrylics don't necessarily need a base coat unless you're wearing a red polish. Mm -hmm. And that's not to stain the acrylic. But in this case, since it was a shoot, we did multiple polish changes. I basically just used a layering technique for each polish depending on what color it was. Of course, when we got to the red, we used um, two layers of the red just to give you that rich apple red. Um, for each scene, since there was a very you know variety of scenes, we we had the opportunity to also play with different colors, where we did a couple of multiple colors, layering colors, where one we would do more of a matte um, on the bottom, more of a pearl on top, just depending on what effect that we wanted to go along with the theme and with a, with the clothes, of course that would um, complement the shoot. We had a lot of different polish changes as we said and you did them super quick. Do you have any tips for other techs out there on how to get precise polishing in a timely manner? What I would suggest you just have to have very even strokes. You can't um, apply too much polish on the brush. It has to be even, it has to be flat and it's from center from side to side. So that allows you also within the next coat, the, the second application, that it will finish the, the evenness of the polish. That way you get, you get a nice crisp shine to the polish. But it's practice. Everything is practice. I mean, after 30 years, you know, once you just keep practicing, and one of the state's requirements is red polish. That's one where you have to polish with red polish and not get it on the cuticles. Any tips for um, not getting it on the cuticles? Do you leave a little margin or go back and clean it up? I usually leave a little margin. I'll give myself just a little free edge. Then that way on that second application, it goes over perfectly. You don't even, you don't even hit the cuticles at all. Yeah, I noticed that um, all of their cuticles looked great and it wasn't you know, a mess with all the changing and stuff. It really uh, was clean and neat and precise. Did you use top coat on these nails? I don't use top coat um, for photo shoots a lot of times because it's not necessary and it also prolongs the drying process depending on what top coat that you're using. So right. I'm, I basically just go with the natural polishes. If I want to enhance that and make it a lot sharper, then I'll add a third coat of the same polish on top which will give you that same shine. Well, thank you so much for coming in. It was such a pleasure to have you. You did such a wonderful job. Yes, Stephanie, and you guys were great, too. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. The shoot turned out great. It did. I enjoyed myself.